Uh, the type of injuries that a person who's been uh, bit or attacked by a dog can sue for are both uh, physical injuries and psychological injuries. Uh, with regards to physical injuries, a person who's been bitten by a dog may have a, a puncture wound or they may have a, a, a scar which required, uh, or a cut that required stitches and they're gonna have a scar um, and they're entitled to sue for that. A lot of times people who are bitten by dogs may also sustain physical injuries where the dog bites them and they're knocked down and they hurt their back or they break their arm or break their leg. Uh, those are all physical type of injuries that a person can sue for. Uh, when a person is bitten by a dog, they also have psychological injuries where they might be having nightmares uh, as a result of the dog bite or they might have so, uh, low self-esteem. Uh, and uh, a person who's bitten by a dog also can sue for uh, their damages from their psychological injuries uh, in addition to the physical injuries. If a child has been bitten by a, uh, a dog and they have a scar on their face, um, they have a claim uh, for their injuries. Um, a lot of times when, when our, my firm represents uh, children who've been bitten by uh, dogs and they have uh, facial scars or scars on other parts of their body, uh, we do two things. Uh, we'll refer them to a plastic surgeon uh, to do an evaluation to see whether or not their scars can be corrected uh, or made less worse and less apparent. Uh, and also, uh, we will refer children uh, to a, psycho a psychologist uh, to help them uh, get over any fears that they may have of dogs or, or any self-esteem problems they have as a result of uh, scars uh, from the dog bite.